Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is find peak element. In this question, we are given an array called nums and we have to find a peak element and return its index. And it says it might be possible that there are multiple peaks inside the array, return any one of the peaks. So how do you identify element as a peak element or not? In this example, you are given an array 1, 2, 3, 1. The peak element is 3 because all the elements to the left of this are less than that and all the elements to the right of it are also less than that. Now let's take a look at this example and see how this question can be solved. I've taken the same example they've given us. This is the input array nums and we have to return the index position of the peak element. We can solve this question using binary search. So this question is very similar to peak index in a mountain array. I've already solved that question. Please take a look at that video. I'll leave a link to that video in the description box below or you can also uh, click on the top right corner i card to find that video so similar to that question we can solve this question using binary search so like always in a binary search algorithm we're going to declare two pointers the left pointer will be starting at the beginning and the right pointer is going to start at the end the left pointer is going to start from left to right and the right pointer is going to start from right to left this for loop will meet until left is always less than right once they meet we can end the iteration so inside this while loop we should always find a mid element Mid can be found out with this formula, left plus right minus left by 2, left is pointing at 0 and right is pointing at 3, 3 minus 0 by 2, 3 by 2 is 1.5 which will take 1, so mid is pointing here. Now we have to check if the element at mid is less than the element at mid plus 1. If 2 is less than 3 it means that we have to decrease our search space by shifting left to mid plus 1. Since this element is greater than 1, we will never find our answer in this part of the array. So we are shifting our search space by reducing it into this part of the array. So left will be moved to mid plus 1. So left is pointing here and now we have to calculate our mid again. So mid is 2, let's move mid to 2. So mid is also pointing there. Now mid is pointing at 2 and we have to check if element at mid is less than the element at mid plus 1. 3 is greater than 1 so this condition fails. So whenever that condition fails, we have to reduce our search space. We have to assign right to mid. Now we cannot move to the next iteration because left should be less than right. But here it is equal. So once these two pointers meet or these two pointers cross each other, we can end the iteration and we return the index of the left pointer. So left pointer is 2. 2 will be returned as the output. Now let's take a look at the code. Coming to the function they've given us, this is the function name and this is the input array nums and the return type is an integer so you have to return an integer as the output representing the index position of the peak element as i've said let us declare the left index pointing at zero that is the beginning of the array and the right index will be pointing at the end of the array now we run a while loop until left is less than right once these two pointers meet or cross each other we end the iteration so the first step is to find the mid the mid is calculated with left plus right minus left by 2. So this is used to avoid overflow condition. You can also use left plus right by 2. And now we have to reduce the search space. If the element at mid is less than the element at mid plus 1. It means that you have to search in the right part of the mid. So we increment left to mid plus 1. And in the else block it means that the element at mid is greater than the element at mid plus 1. So else block will be executed meaning we have to search in the left part of mid. So we move right to mid. So this will reduce our search space to the left of mid. So this will happen until both the pointers meet or cross each other because left is moving from left to right and right is moving from right to left. And when you break the loop, you return the left pointer that will give you the peak index. So the time complexity of this approach is O of log n and the space complexity is constant O of 1 because we are not using any extra space to solve this question. That's it guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.